So ever since chapter 216 of Black Clover, Julius has warned us about the Spade Kingdom and their mysterious experiments on devils. Julius goes on to say that the nation that is served by the ancient evils that sleeps in this vast frigid land and is attempting to gain supremacy. Spade, the country of demons, winter, and many mysteries. Beyond these three problems that Julius warned everyone about, his description of the Spade Kingdom seems the most scariest because they wanted to gain supremacy, they wanted to conquer the land, and they also have demons. And so far, ever since the time skip, they had lived up to that. They captured Yami, they captured William, they captured Lord Pachika. It's impressive for them to have two different magic types given the fact that they have a devil of their own, and the two magic types they have are very powerful. However, besides the Dark Triad, their Dark Disciples, their Captains, their military alone is very strong. And in chapter 273 is even more stronger than we thought now that Morris and it looks like a couple of eight shiny generals that are there with him and also Lotus but I don't think Lotus is truly on his side but that is a different topic for a different day. And in that same chapter we see this giant massive demon. And ever since we saw this demon in chapter 273 the two questions that everyone has been asking themselves is this demon a part of the tree of Cliftoff or was this demon artificially created? We're going to talk about both scenarios here, so let's dive into it. So the statement by Nacht in chapter 263, he talks about from this point on, over seven days, the advent of the Cleefoth will begin. Inside there are seven levels, and seven gates will open gradually. So it seems as though by Nacht's statement that over the course of seven days, the tree of Cleefoth will open up gradually, slowly. And the highest level of the demons are on the same level as a dark triad. However, they are the weakest ones, which is very crazy to say, given the fact how strong the dark triad is. But maybe Nock just meant it in a way where base level wise, they are on the same level as the dark triad. And Nock did talk about in three days, they will raid the Spade Kingdom. However, in the next chapter, Nock talks about that they will raid the Spade Kingdom in two days, which is a little contradiction because last chapter he said it was three. Now he's saying that it's two. Tabata, however, came out with a statement and corrected himself saying that he meant three days, not two, which was a minor mistake on Tabata's part, but it seemed as though he went along with the two days and just said, screw it, I'm gonna just go with the two days because the next chapter and the next couple of chapters, he kept the two days there. The reason why these two days are really important because these are two days out of the seven for the advent of the Cleefoff tree that will gradually open during this seven day period. So we already know math. 2 minus 7, that's 5. 21. You stupid. Which is why this panel in chapter 273, it makes a lot of sense because we see the roots of the tree of Cleefoff surrounding William and Yami. So a lot of people have the assumption that since it's already been two days out of these seven, that means that we will already have demons already unleashed, right? Which will make this demon that Mary Yoliona punch in a recent chapter, chapter 274, is one of the demons in the beginning level, part of the tree of Cleefoff. But I don't think that is the case, which goes to the second point, was this demon actually artificially created? Which I am starting to believe it actually was. From first glance, the characteristics of this demon, when you see him, you think, oh, that looks like demon got licked. It does, but there is a clear difference. Because even when the Spade Kingdom Resistance Army seen this demon, at first glance they thought, is that the legend of old, the ancient demon? Even though we know it's not Licht because Licht is dead, we've seen his soul in an elf arc go to the afterlife, and also the skeleton of this demon is in Hodge Village. When Licht was a devil, he also had longer hair, his horns were slightly different, but not only that he had four arms, he also had a pair of wings, which that demon in this recent chapter doesn't have. And those cool circles around him that are connected to his wings, which is why I believe that this demon was made artificially. Morris talked about that the magic that was collected for the ritual was collected by his Candelo, which he created. A Candelo is a magic fortress, and one of them we've seen, which Asa destroyed. And the purpose for this particular Candelo was to steal people magic in the Grand Magic Zone so the magic fortress can move. But for Morris to bring this up, saying that the magic that he collected for the ritual, since we know that Asa destroyed this one, that means that there had to be another Candelo out there that made his way back to the Spade Kingdom for the preparations for the ritual. When Morris told Xenon that everything is going smoothly, he looked at the demon and said, isn't that right, Lotus? Almost as if like he was the one that was behind this creation. And it's not too far-fetched to say because we know that Morris is a scientist. Not only that, but Xenon even stated that this demon was already planned to be used against the Spade Kingdom's resistance army. 
and right after that he said let the ritual of the advent of the cleef off begin so this lets me know that this demon based off evidence could it be something that was entirely separate from the tree of Cleefoff and plus the candelo that Morris was using to take magic away? We know that it's possible that Morris was also using that to take one's magic to also create this monster, transforming the property of that mana to negative mana. Now, how did Demon Lick come about? How did that happen? Lick, when he fell into despair, he said that he was filled with tremendous negative mana. But to prevent his body falling into the hands of the wicked, he poured more negative mana within himself using the magic stones, and Zagra stated that he used the highest level of forbidden magic. Which is why Lick's demon, when he became one, he was so strong because he's already a high tier elf with the highest mana we have ever seen among the elves, on top of the fact that he poured more negative mana within himself using the magic stones, and the magic stones amplifies one's magic. Even though, yes, Zagrid's a scumbag, but his statement has a lot of merit when he said this is the highest level of forbidden magic, which it was. Which is why the Witch Queen gave up the magic stone that was in her ear, because the magic stones that the elves created amplifies one's magic, and the only ones who can master it are the elf tribe. That's why she couldn't use it, and she said she doesn't need it. When you hear the description of the magic stones, what does it sound like? It sounds like the Diamond Kingdom's magic jewels. The eight shiny generals are known for having these embedded jewels. Klaus stated that these embedded jewels that are upon these eight shiny generals are artificially amplifying their magic, which sounds a lot like the magic stones that the elves created. So it seems to me that Morris is trying to make a copy, a replica, of the magic stones that the elves created because so far in the series morris has come across as a guy who wants power by any means necessary and it's possible that he was inspired by the elves creation of the magic stones and as a scientist he wants to recreate that so now that we know how demon licked was created by using the magic stones and the negative mana using the highest level of forbidden magic is very possible that morris also used his embedded jewels to help create this demon that they have for the spade kingdom morris also could have been inspired by the history of demon god licked and wanted to create one of his own trying to recreate this monster that showed up 500 years ago keep in mind this is the same guy who created fuse grimoire so we can't put really anything past this guy because he can create it he also told xena while dante is recovering he will be even stronger i can only imagine how strong and how terrifying dante truly is from the help of morris he doesn't need a fused grimoire, he doesn't need any embedded jewels, <laughs> he really doesn't need any of that. Dante is already strong enough. However, I do not believe that this devil that Mariolona is fighting is on the level or even in the same ballpark as Demon God Lick because Demon God Lick literally was about to destroy a country. Because Lumia did state that if he doesn't block this attack, this country will be and he stopped himself and he tried to absorb the power by using a swallowtail. And we know that Lumiere couldn't absorb all that power and Lick stopped himself from destroying the kingdom because that one attack was about to no diff the entire country. And I don't believe that's about to write it in a way where if this demon is one of the weakest demons a part of the tree of Cleefoff or this was made artificially, which I tend to believe it was made artificially based on the evidence. So you guys comment below and tell me what you think. Do you believe this demon was made artificially? Do you believe that this is part of the tree of Cleefoff? Or do you believe by subscribing to the channel with notification bells on, we can figure out this thing by continuing on this journey together. You guys have an awesome life. Take care of yourselves. And I'm out.